हेलो आई आनंद जैन फ्रॉम हनुमानगढ़ राजस्थान वेलकम्स यू टू योर फेवरेट श्रीदेवी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी इन कलकेट इंटरेस्ट एज वेल एज कॉन्फिडेंस इन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट टूडे इन आवर सब्जेक्ट बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन चैप्टर ए सी सर्किट वील अंडरस्टैंड फंडामेंटल कंसेप्ट ऑफ साइनोसोडल अल्टरनेटिंग क्वान्टिटीज एंड विल लर्न साइकिल टाइम पीरियड and frequency for sinusoidal alternating quantity and in the end we'll also understand the concept of harmonics for a non sinusoidal periodic wave so let's start time period and frequency of sinusoidal alternating quantity here on your screen we have displayed various wave forms of electrical signals in the form of current or voltage now in this first row all these four signals are known as dc signals whereas the remaining wave form shown here are alternating in nature and the basic difference between dc and ac is that in dc the direction of current or polarity of voltage remains in one direction whereas in ac signals the direction of current flow or polarity of voltage change its direction in this first row this first wave is ideal dc whose neither magnitude nor direction is changing the second one is fluctuating dc for that the magnitude is varying but the direction of current or polarity of voltage remains only in one direction whereas this third is half wave rectified output and this is full wave rectified output and these rectified output become dc when ac signal is given to respective rectifier circuits now these four signals sinusoidal square or triangle or so the are popular alternating current signals which are periodic in nature and are symmetrical having identical positive and negative half and a regular repetition of identical wave shapes again and again in a cyclic manner whereas this is a non periodic irregular alternating current signal which is very difficult to analyze in symmetrical alternating signals whether they are sinusoidal square waves or triangular or sothith waves alternating current or voltage changes not only its magnitude but also its direction and all these wave represent periodic positive half cycle and negative half cycle repetitions after a pre specified time interval in these symmetrical alternating signals the positive half cycle and negative half cycle are symmetrical and full cycle average value if we calculate comes as zero only among all symmetrical sinusoidal alternating quantities sinusoidal square triangular or so teeth we'll study on the sinusoidal alternating quantity in detail as this waveform is ideally suitable for all our electrical energy applications in our electric power system whether they are generator transmission line transformer or other equipment or utilization when equipments are constructed and designed for this sinusoidal wave shape they become simple and economic the operation and control of equipment with sinusoidal supply is more reliable convenient and efficient study of this sinusoidal wave shapes also got some mathematical ease and advantages this sine wave is a signal whose shape will not alter by a linear circuit so we can use sinusoidal signals as test signal to analyze performance of circuits mathematical analysis and study of behavior of electrical circuit and component on sinusoidal ac waveform is mathematically convenient and easy and this analysis can be extended to study all other periodic waveforms whether they are symmetrical or non symmetrical all non sinusoidal periodic waves can also be analyzed by the extension of results of sinusoidal studies a periodic sinusoidal alternating quantity whether it is a current or a voltage signal got a unique set of instantaneous values which got different non repeating conditions with time a complete set of positive values and negative values 
is known as cycle and this cyclic set as shown in this yellow highlight also repeat itself as shown in this shan frame and such repetitions also takes place onwards this complete set of non repetitive unique values which repeat itself is known as cycle and time of one cycle is known as time period denoted by capital t we can also measure different instantaneous magnitude of one cycle in terms of angular position and entire angular displacement of cycle is treated as 360 degree that means half cycle condition will become half of time period t by 2 or 180 degree and one quarter of cycle become t by 4 or 90 degree a standard sinusoidal wave starts from zero at time instant zero or angle zero and it attain positive peak after one quarter travel at 90 degree or t by 4 then it decreases attain zero value and after this half cycle the symmetrical negative half cycle is repeated and this positive and negative cycle set as one cycle repeats again and again cycle is a set where all instantaneous values are unique and non repeated in nature it looks at position x and y the magnitude of sinusoidal quantity is the same but if you see the pattern at x it is in increasing condition whereas at y the magnitude is those the same as that of x but it is of decreasing nature so instantaneous position of x is different from instantaneous position of y here in this standard sinusoidal wave we have considered a cycle as minimum set of non repetitive unique values which repeat itself again and again and in this standard sinusoidal wave instantaneous value starts from zero and is in increasing order and it ends at a dash and now onwards the new start or beginning is just identical to that of previous cycle and such way cycle repeat itself a standard sine wave cycle starts from zero instantaneous value in increasing order but we can also define cycle starting from any instant say from positive peak and unique non repetitive set of values again got the same identical position as it is at the start and then repetition take place so from b positive peak to next positive peak this is again a cycle we can also treat from c to c dash the instantaneous conditions are the same and in between that there is a cycle so the time period of this cycle from positive peak to next positive peak or from c to c dash is the same and known as time period so cycle can be treated as unique set of non repetitive values which repeat itself after a pre specified time period and a standard sinusoidal wave starts from zero instantaneous value and with increasing in order the time duration of one complete periodic cyclic variation is called as time period and for indian domestic electric power supply the time period of electric current or voltage is only 20 millisecond that means in this 20 millisecond duration the complete cyclic variation starting from zero attaining positive peak reducing again to zero and attaining negative peak and to again zero this complete cycle takes place only in 20 millisecond it means just in 5 millisecond in one quarter cycle time period the sinusoidal current or voltage starting from zero attain its positive peak and in 10 millisecond it will change from positive peak to negative peak the time period of power signal is relatively large for communication signals of microwave or radio wave frequencies the variation is too rapid and time period of such communication signals is of the order of fraction of microseconds but interesting fact is analysis of power supply sinusoidal signal and communication frequency sinusoidal signal is identical one cyclic variation got at time equal to time period and number of cycles which are repeated in one second duration is called frequency of alternating signal and frequency is measured as cycle per second or hertz and it is represented by a symbol small f and measured in hertz unit which is hertz unit denoted as capital h z 
now the time duration of one cycle is time period capital t and number of cycles in one second is frequency so time period of f cycle is ft and ft is one second and this clearly indicate that frequency and time period are inverse of each other and for indian domestic power supply the frequency is 50 hertz it means the time period inverse of frequency is 1 by 50 second and if we convert that in millisecond then it comes as 20 millisecond so for indian power supply the frequency is 50 hertz and time period is 20 millisecond the frequency of electrical energy generated in a rotating generator depends upon relative rotating speed of working magnetic field and conductor and number of pole in our alternator and it is given as yellow highlighted relation f is pn by 2 where p is number of pole in alternator n is revolution per second of alternator and if in place of revolution per second we need our relation in revolution per minute then frequency is pn by 120 for a 10 pole machine if it rotate at 600 revolution per minute we have to find out the frequency of alternating current produced by this 10 pole alternator then number of pole p is 10 revolution per minute is given 600 and if we calculate frequency it comes as 50 hertz and if one is interested in time period then time period inverse of frequency 1 by 50 second will become 20 millisecond any known sinusoidal wave if got a cyclic repetition got periodic nature then such periodic non sinusoidal complex waveform can be represented as summation of a dc value and several sinusoidal wave of different fundamental and multiple frequencies if a known sinusoidal periodic wave got a symmetry and its positive half section and negative half section is the same then its full cycle average value is zero so the dc component in analysis becomes zero for such complex waves so such non sinusoidal periodic complex waves having identical positive and negative half can be represented as superposition of several sinusoidal waves one of the same frequency as that of complex wave known as fundamental frequency as shown by this dash curve and others are multiple frequency component of this fundamental two times three times or more times frequencies when a known sinusoidal complex wave is represented as combination of several sinusoidal waves then sinusoidal wave of minimum frequency is known as fundamental frequency and frequency of fundamental signal is the same as that of frequency of complex wave so both produce same number of cycles whereas the harmonics got multiple frequency than fundamental so double harmonic will have two cycles when fundamental completes one cycle and similarly the triple harmonic completes three cycles when fundamental completes one cycle so if fundamental component is of 50 hertz then its second harmonic would be of 100 hertz frequency third would be 150 hertz frequency and fifth would be 250 hertz frequency now the interesting fact is a complex wave when represented as sinusoidal wave of different frequencies can be analyzed with the same methodology which we will understood for fundamental or single frequency analysis because for a linear circuit the frequency of excitation and frequency of response remains the same so second harmonic excitation of complex wave will produce only the second harmonic response so individually fundamental and other harmonics when treated and their individual responses when summed can produce resultant response from a complex wave we hope this beautiful informative learning video has explained time period and frequency of alternating sinusoidal signal and you could also now understood what is harmonics in a complex periodic wave our other learning video of the same playlist are equally useful and you can use them in your studies or refer them to your friends and if you need exam centric dedicated notes from this study channel do join our membership happy learning have nice time thank you very much